I'm uh, Gabe Gardenia. I am uh, here with uh, Michael Vick. We're here uh, just to have a conversation uh, with Michael Vick as part of our uh, President's uh, Lecture Series. And uh, so we're delighted to have you here in Thank Albany. You. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you coming down to be uh, meet with our students. Uh, and so we're just going to have a little question and answer here. Okay. And uh, just have a conversation. So uh, first thing is just what is Michael Vick doing now? Uh, right now, being the, the best family man that I could be, mm -hmm. um, you know, I got four kids and, mm -hmm. and try to make sure that I cater to them as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, my wife try to be the, you know, the best that I can be within the household sure. and, and, and do the right thing. So, you know, that's always a task. But, Absolutely. you know, outside of that, you know, uh, making a living, working for Fox as, as mm -hmm. an analyst, something that I, I never thought I would be doing, but, mm -hmm. you know, found out over the last you know, three years that I, it could be done, and sure. I had it in me, and uh, you know, it just goes to show that you can do anything that you put your mind to. So, mm -hmm. um, just having fun with life and as it come, and uh, no complaints. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, you obviously uh, played quarterback for the Falcons. You got a really big footprint here in Georgia um, because of that, and have influenced a lot of. Um, young men and women uh, to be Falcons fans, right. <laughs> but also off the field. Yeah. And so, you know, kind of tell us just about um, the opportunity that that afforded you. Um, you know, having the chance to um, play for the Atlanta Falcons and get to know so many people within the organization, p fans mm -hmm. alike, um, just people off the street, random, who mm -hmm. rooted for me at that time when I was here. Um, you know, really gave me a certain level of gratification and, and mm -hmm. you know, um, it was always, you know, motivation to try to do better. Sure. Even when I wasn't a Falcon, even when I came back here, mm -hmm. um, when I was playing for other teams, sure. I still got, you know, a warm reception, whether Absolutely. I was in, you know, a clothing store and the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, it was always appreciation shown and, and to be able to, you know, make a mark on a, a state where, mm -hmm. um, you know, football was the influence really meant, means a lot to me because uh, if I went and did my job, I would have tried to be, in the, you know, on the field, I would have tried mm -hmm. to be the best, um, you know, citizen that I could be. Sure. Um, and it happened to work out that I was good on the field and, and you know, tried to be, you know, the best person I could. And I think people took notice to that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I always appreciated the support through the ups and downs and, uh, you know, just a great, you know, state. You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, people were the, giving the utmost hospitality, man. And sure. I, that's the one thing I remember when I got drafted to the Atlanta Falcons when I first got, you know, to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Just the, the appreciation and, and, and the hospitality was amazing, absolutely. and I'll never forget it. Nothing, nothing like being in Georgia, man. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, uh, what tells us? You're on our campus tonight, you're speaking to our students. Um, what would, I mean, you were a student athlete, uh, obviously, you, you matriculated at Virginia Tech. What would you uh, put yourself, I guess, in, in our students' shoes? Yeah. And you got someone, you know, that's had the career you've had um, on the athletic field, but then beyond and, and, and overcome adversity. Yeah. What would you want to? What, what What would you have wanted to just said to Michael Vick when he was 19 and 20 years old, uh, when he's sitting there, you know, listening to you tonight? Well, um, you know, first of all, I think people can always draw personal experiences. I, Absolutely. I think we all go through things and maybe in different on different levels and different formats and however it may come. Mm -hmm. um, but people always find a way to say something that resonates to me and I hope mm -hmm. that I can always do the same whether I'm speaking to a crowd of younger people or older. Um, you know, different situations are different but I think they, they all come in, in, in certain mm -hmm. facets of everyone's life. Yeah. Um, you know, not just difficulties but the things that happens that, you know, you get praised for, the things sure. that you're proud about. And that's what makes life so special. You know, mm -hmm. you always have opportunity and I was always searching for next level. You know, yeah, what sure. can be done to, you know, take my game or, you know, my you know, my mind to another level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it all happens within. So I paid a lot of attention to what people said. I always tried to be a good listener and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I got a lot of praise for that. Hard as a man to be a good listener all the time. It's, it's oh yeah, great, most it's definitely. It's still hard to this day. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I understand. Well, tell us this. Um, you know, we uh, um, we're constantly talking, and, I, and I'm talking from the coach perspective. Yeah, right? yeah. We're talking to our guys about having. I can relate. Mentor. Yeah, absolutely. I can relate. You've been in them locker yes. rooms, right? Um, and uh, and even the classroom, you know, is a, is a, is a locker room on a different level, right? Yeah. But 
talk to us about um, you know, just the positive impact of having great mentors around you. You know, we got your book, um, and the, you know, the forward is by Tony Dungy yeah. and, and all that. And I don't know if it's Tony or maybe it's a high school coach or it's Frank Beamer or maybe it's some other you know, person in your life. But right. just talk to us about the power of mentors in your life as you've been on this journey. Yeah, I was, I was always at my best when I had mentors in my life. I mm -hmm. think it gave me a sense of direction. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was always 100% positive. Sure. Um, and it's up to you whether you take that resource and use it to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. And I found when I didn't, when I, when I started to think that I had all the answers, then mm -hmm. things wouldn't work out necessarily the way I wanted them to. And sure. when I had people guide me and, and when I wasn't you know, ashamed to or felt guilty sometimes about picking up the phone, which I shouldn't, and trying to get some advice. Right. Um, you know, not feeling, you know, uh, ashamed to ask questions. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get into that mode. That yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and yeah. you know, some things you want to keep private. Yeah. But I felt like when I opened up, I always got the answers that I needed. Um, yeah. And nobody can answer a question for you if you don't ask the question. Yeah. You know, so I, I learned that, and all my mentors in that book, and even still in my life to this day, mm -hmm. um, probably the best resources that I can have. Sure. You know, um, I wish I can call on them a little more. Yeah. Um, but some things you got to handle on your own and internally, and and mm -hmm. I try to do that. But it's not always it's not always the easiest way. I sure. often sit sit back and think, you know, about about the decisions that I got to make and. Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I can call my father and, and yeah, just absolutely. ask him this question. And yeah. you know, if he had the education or the you know the you know mental capacity to help me, yeah. sometimes you got to make decisions on your own. So that's why you got to have people around you. Yeah. And it can come, it can be a friend. It, it can be somebody the same age as you. It can be somebody younger than you. And sure. I don't put that past anyone. Mm -hmm. It's hard, you know. You're you've you've walked in such a different uh, path than the, than the normal, um, you know. American citizen, you know, you, you've, you've, not many people have walked in your shoes, I right. guess, you know, made money at an early young age yeah. and all that stuff. So is it, do you have to intentionally put people around you that might tell you no every once in a while or, hey, you know, see this in a different way? And, and how do you find that person? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to find uh, trustworthy people, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, especially when you're dealing with a ton of money. Yeah. Um, you know, money is the root of all evil and, and mm -hmm. it, it'll always be. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all about how you take it and use it. Mm -hmm. And the most successful people come from backgrounds where they come from, come from some form of money, right. because they learn how to protect it, and they know sure. at an early age, you know, what needs to be done in order to stretch it and make sure that longevity is always mm -hmm. key. And then some people come from different backgrounds where they never had anything, and they just <laughs> do whatever they want. Sure. And to each his own, but. Uh, you know, that's the educational piece that I'll always be able to present to any crowd or, you know, any man or woman who have a question about, you know, how to protect, you know, what they work hard for in their life. And, uh, you know, it's an ongoing thing. It'll never change. Sure. It'll never stop. Oh, that's pretty neat. All right, well, we're going to give you one more here, lighten it up for you a little bit. we yeah. got, we got a couple of communications majors in here. And, yeah, that's cool. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a neat uh, little thing. And, and you're in that field now. What, what would advice, you know, from an educational perspective here, would you give that young, you know, communications major trying to figure out, hey, do I want to get into music? Do I want to get into TV? Yeah. Do I want to be in front of the camera, behind the camera? What, yeah. what would you talk to them? Um, just be bold and be confident. And, um, you know, m most of the time, and most most times in life, you only get a chance to make a first impression once. Mm -hmm. um, if you're lucky, you know, second or third time, if people give you a chance. But just know when you get put in situations where you can thrive and where you can you know, can apart into a, a, another realm, you take mm -hmm. a full advantage of it and, and approach it with confidence and and know you don't want to walk away from that situation saying, man, I wish I would have, you know, been, been more charismatic or let my personality show. You let it sure. show and then let the yeah. people be the judge. So, it's kind of like playing football. You yeah, know? yeah, it's, you know, just let it, let it go. And, yeah. and, and live with it. You Absolutely. Know? It's, it's Absolutely. easy to play football because you got helmets on and people don't see your facial expressions and reactions. And, yeah. That's probably a good thing because so sure. much is being done within. I'm glad the camera's you know, on me all the yes, time. Yes, right? absolutely. <laughs> like I was, I was probably more angry yeah. at times when I was playing ball than I was happy. Right. But that was just the competitive nature. But man, sure. it's um, you know, like I said, whatever life throws at you, it's mm -hmm. gonna come in a form where 
you know, you can always handle it and, and come out on top. Sure. Take your shot. Right? Absolutely. Take so, advantage of it. That's right. Well, look, we got to do one more thing, okay? It's, it's, uh, you're on, we're the Golden Rams. This is the home of the Golden okay. Rams. Okay. Golden so Rams. On, on the, uh, we're going we're gonna to tie this thing up. We want to thank Let's you, do it. obviously, for being here. Yeah. But on three, I just want you to say go Rams with me. All right, you no you doubt. down with that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Go, go Rams. Rams. Hey, thanks for joining us with the conversation here uh, as part of the presidential le uh, lecture series with Michael Vick. Uh, we can't thank you enough for being here. And, uh, you know, no problem. Good luck, man. Thank you. Appreciate Good luck you this week. Here. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it.